Gary of the Circus. Or Jerry of the circus. Well, you got Rags, Jerry? Sure, Bump. He's right over there. Here, Rags. <laughs> well, you keep him here now. I'm going over to get the props and things for our new stunt. I'll be right back. Okay, Bump. <laughs> no, no, boy. You stay here. I'll be right back. And then we'll do our new trick. And huh? see how good he is, huh? That's right. Hello there, Jerry. Oh, hello, Mr. Randall. Did you come around to watch Bumps and Rags? Bumps and Rags? Yeah, they're going to dress rehearse that new trick. Oh. He and Rags have worked it out keen. Well, that ought to be something to see. When is this all coming off? Right away. Bumps will be right back. He just went to get the props. Well, in that case, I'll stick around and have a look. Have you seen uh, Belko around anywhere, Jerry? Let's see. Yeah, he was right over there across the tent. Oh, yeah, oh, there he is. I see him. He's uh, going to rehearse that trunk trick of his this afternoon. Oh, uh, with the girl inside? Yeah, it yeah, should be quite a stunt if it works. Well, here we are, all set. <laughs> Anxious to work, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> you bet he is. I've been putting him through some of the new act already, and, oh, well, he takes to it like duck takes to water. <laughs> uh, what's that, Bump? In your hand. Hmm? Oh, this. Uh, well, it's the headpiece Rags is going to wear. See, that's clever, Bump. Oh, you like it, Sam? Yes, yeah, a nice piece of work. Did uh, Lester make it? Well, with a little help from me, now, when Dad did this trick, we used to rig up our own headgear for the dogs. Mm -hmm. it, it's paper mache. It, it looks just like a bull's head. It's awful real. Yeah, and it fits Rags perfectly. Well, can the uh, dog see through it all right? Oh, sure. The eyes are fixed in just the right place. Now, wait a minute till I get it on him here and get this little blanket over him. <laughs> you look for all the world like a little bull. <laughs> a bullfight with a dog. <laughs> now, I'll just get into my duds, and then I'll get Rags fixed. Oh, oh! is that the uh, stuff Tara made up for you? Oh, yeah, yeah, you like it? <laughs> a Spanish bullfighter's hat and coat. Hey, put the hat on, Bump. Uh, oh, all right, now wait just a minute. <laughs> there, now how's that? <laughs> he can't tell you from the real thing, Bump. A real matador, I'll have you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, look at the way Rags is looking at you. He doesn't know what to make of it, <laughs> do you, Rags? Yeah. <laughs> come on, come on here, fella. I'll get you dressed now. Come on, Rags. Now, wait a minute. Hold still there, boy. Uh, he doesn't seem to like it so well. Oh, he'll get used to wearing this head. Hey, now, boy, wait. Yeah. Now, that's not so bad, is it? If it wasn't for his size, I couldn't tell the difference. Yeah, hey, come on now, Rags. Let's see how this is going to work. Come on, come on, boy. Do it good, Rags. Mr. Randall's watching. <laughs> if the towners don't get a laugh out of that, I'll miss my guess. Hey, look, Mr. Randall. Yeah. Bumps is holding that red cloth up now. <laughs> And Rags is rushing at it just like a bull one. <laughs> and then Bumps jumps to one side. <laughs> hey, look at Rags' kid. <laughs> he, he's getting mad. That's fine. That's just what he's supposed to do. Yeah, this is just like a real bullfight. Hey, now Bump says that rubber sword in his hand. He, he's going to try to stab Rags. Oh, oh, he, he missed him. <laughs> hey, look at him now. Oh, poor Rags is sure trying hard to steer Bumps with those horns on his head. <laughs> oh, and no, he did it. He did it. <laughs> Bump stuck Rags with a rubber sword. Well, look at would you. Rags falls over and plays dead. Say, <laughs> that is good. <laughs> and now Bumps is taking vows. Hey, but look, uh, Rags is getting up, yeah. and Bumps doesn't know it. He, he's going right ahead taking vows. Yeah, watch Rags now. <laughs> yeah, listen to that vicious <laughs> growl, and does Bumps look surprised and scared? <laughs> hey, he's chasing Bumps out of the ring. Here he comes. <laughs> <laughs> Wild bull. That sure is a swell uh, act, Bumps. <laughs> oh, oh, sir. Well, 
Uh, how'd you like it, Sam? <laughs> it's all right. It's all right, Bob. It's a good turn. <laughs> it was swell, Bob. <laughs> all right, all right, now, Rex. I'll take that head off. Come here now. Hold still there, boy. See, I think he likes to do that act. Sure he does. There, off comes the head. Ah, good for you, Rex. You did a good job. Now, you understand, Sam, I'm going to build it up more. We'll do a couple of minutes of that tantalizing with the red cloth. Yeah, yeah. Boy, I'll work it up so it'll be a good laugh. Oh, sure, I know what you mean. It's all right, Bumps. What? Uh, well, aren't you going to work any more now? Oh, no, no, no. That's enough for the time being. I don't want Rags to get too tired, you know. Got to get him used to it by degrees. Yeah, well, I'm going over across the ring and see how Belko's coming along with that trunk trick of his. You want to come along, Jerry? Sure, I'll go with you. I can, can I, Bob? Oh, sure. I don't need you for anything, Jerry. Go right ahead. Okay. Well, I'll see you after a little while. <laughs> Hey, look at Mr. Randall. There's the Russoffs practicing again. Seems like they practice almost every day. Yeah, oh, they have to, Jerry, with an act like theirs. Uh, Belko! He didn't hear you, Mr. Randall. Yeah. Belko! Oh, hello, Mr. Randall. Uh, how are you getting along with that trick? Have you tried it out yet? Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> it's going to work out fine. Well, where's the young lady that's going to work in the trunk? Oh, I just let her go, Mr. Randall, but uh, I can show you how it works. Oh, no, no, never mind, I know. I could take Jerry here and put him in the trunk just to show you. <laughs> I'm nothing doing. What's the matter, Jerry? You're not scared, are you? <laughs> ah, but, well, I don't like the idea of being locked up in a trunk, let alone being taken up so high and... Well, besides just trusting the Belko's teeth and his strength. <laughs> <laughs> I would not let you fall, Juggy. Yeah, well, just the same. I'd just soon stay right here on the ground. Mm. And how did the uh, girl work for you, Bar Belko? Oh, she was all right, but she got a little worried about the trunk. What do you mean? Well, she figured the trunk was not strong enough. Oh, yeah. This trunk here? Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. But that's it. Yeah, looks all right to me. Well, it is a little light. <laughs> it's just a cheap trunk. I thought it would serve the purpose, though. Well, what made the girl think the trunk wasn't strong enough? She thought maybe the bottom might fall out. Oh. <laughs> she tells me that when I get her way high up, she thinks she hears the bottom tearing away. Oh, say, I can't risk that sort of thing. Boy, that's sure some trick, though. Well, what do you figure we should do about the trunk, Belko? Well, I was just thinking, uh, thinking maybe I could have the trunk reinforced with some sheet iron, mm -hmm. see? That would make it good and solid. And then I could have it painted over, maybe with some gold paint. Well, that's huh? an idea. It would look good, too. Of course, I can't do that kind of work myself. I'd have to get somebody to do it for me. Uh, you got any idea who I could get around the lot? Uh, let's see. No, right offhand, I don't know who could do sheet metal work, Belko. I know someone who can. Who, Jerry? Spike. Who is he? Oh, Spike is one of the uh, canvas men, mm. works for Murray. You sure he can do the kind of job Belko wants done, Jerry? Sure he can. He's a jack of all trades. I bet he could do a real good job for you, Belko. Well, I will pay him well for it if he can do it. The trunk is my personal prop, and I am willing to spend a little on it to get a good job, see? Oh, I know Spike would be awful glad to get the extra money. Well, all right, send Spike around to see Belko, Jerry. Yeah, yeah, I'll have to talk with him. And if he can do it, the job is his. All right, well, that's settled. Uh, come on, Jerry, let's walk around back. Okay. So long, Belko. Goodbye. Yeah, you've taken a uh, great liking to Spike, Jerry. Well, I just thought he could use the extra money. He sure needs it. Well, that's thoughtful of you. <whistles> hey, hey, what's going on? Oh, there's Rags. Here, Rags. Well, I wonder where Bumps went. Oh, here he comes. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> you fella. <laughs> Who's giving orders to that partner of mine? Oh, I guess you shouldn't have called Rags, Jerry. <laughs> well, I tell Rags to stay by me, and then you whistle at him, and he runs to you. Uh, that's a fine thing. Uh, he's got too many bosses. <laughs> well, uh, I'm his first boss, so that's why he minds me better. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're playing second fiddle, Bumps. <laughs> sure does, Sam. Well, come on, Jerry. Let's wash up. Eh? We're going to have supper pretty soon. Eh? Yeah, it is almost time for that flag to be going up. Hello there, folks. Oh, hello, oh. Mr. Hadley. Hello, hello Hadley. Hello. Looking for me? Yes, I was, Mr. Randall. Hello, Bumps. Hello. How are you, Hadley? Are you busy, Mr. Randall? No, no, not at all. Well, we're going to wash up now. See you later, Sam. All right. Hey, come on, Jerry. Okay, come on. Come on, Ray. Goodbye, Mr. Randall. Goodbye. Goodbye, Jerry. Well, what's on your mind? You got any news? I just got back from town, Mr. Randall. Well, what'd you find out? I nearly wore my shoes out following Spike. Oh, did you get anything on him? Not a thing. I guess I'm on the wrong track with him. Uh, well, where does he go? Uh, did you find that out? Yeah, of all places. I followed him clear across town, felt sure I was going to get something on him. Oh, where'd you track him to? A public library. 
public library. <laughs> That's pretty good. What, what on earth would he be going to a library for? I checked on the books he was reading and found that he's studying up on animals. Mm. Jungle animals and the like. Well, what do you know about that? Yep. What I figure out, he wants to get a little knowledge on animals so he can further himself with the circus. Well, I'm glad to know that. I'll have to watch him. And if he's worthy of promotion, he'll get it. I'm not through with him yet. I don't think it's possible, but it might be that he knew I was trailing him and he just went to the library to throw me off. I'm going to keep right on his trail for a few more days just to make sure. Yeah, I, I think you've got the wrong man, Hadley. Well, I'd drop him as a suspect right now myself if it wasn't for the fact that his cellmate in prison was a counterfeiter. It won't hurt to check up thoroughly on it at any rate. Well, any more uh, counterfeit money being passed? Yep, that's just it. There's plenty of it getting around. Well, I wish you'd find out who's passing it. This sort of thing isn't doing the circus any good. The first thing I know, the town's up ahead will refuse us a permit. What do you mean? Well, this counterfeit money's getting out into the towns that we've been playing. The circus is leaving a regular trail of bad bills. A thing like that will give the show a black eye in no time. Well, I'm convinced that someone with the circus, and I'll get whoever it is. Just give me time. Well, I know it's a tough job, Hadley. You bet it is. I had a talk with one of the bankers in this town, and he informed me that these counterfeit bills that are being passed are the best he's ever seen. They almost defy detection. Well, then uh, how do you go about telling whether the money is counterfeit or not? Well, sir, the engraving process is almost what you'd call perfect. The big slip-up is in the numbers on the bill. Oh. The serial numbers are all wrong. Oh, well, then uh, that accounts for so many bills being passed so easily. To the average clerk or cashier, the bills look good, huh? Exactly. They never stop to look at the serial numbers. <sighs> Hadley, we just got to find out who's getting rid of this bad money. I can just hear folks say, watch out for Randall's circus. They're passing counterfeit money in every town. Now, don't worry about it, Mr. Randall. I've never failed on the case yet, and this isn't going to be the first one. Yeah, of course, I'm not supposed to know anything about detective work, but it does seem to me that you're wasting your time following Spike. What do you mean? Well, I, I have no reasons, of course. It's just my own judgment. But I don't think Spike has anything to do with this. I, I wish you could get another lead of some kind. I checked over all the people you gave me a list of. My investigation showed them all to be very honest folks with clean records. You, uh, you sure you gave me a complete list? Yeah, yeah, that list I gave you was everybody that's on the payroll. Wait a minute. No? Oh, there's one man that's not down on that list. I, I just happen to think. He just joined out with us a few days ago, but... Oh, there's no use look, uh, looking him up. He, he's he got a good, clean record, you can bet. Between you and me, I, I don't think he's smart enough to be mixed up with any counterfeiting. Well, who is it, Mr. Randall? Yeah, it's a fellow named Belko, the, the man that does the strong act. Oh, that big fellow. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll just check up on him to make sure. I'm not going to leave a stone unturned until I find out who's passing that counterfeit money. 